Hello, my name is Rosalind. I'll be performing medication administration for 224. With that being said, let's get started. It is now 7 a.m. in the morning, and I'm in the medication room. I perform hand hygiene, grab my MAR sheet, as well as my physician's order, and I compare the two to find any discrepancy. We have the right patient on both. The why well, I noticed the allergies, it have one um allergy which is iodine on the physician order but not on the mar as well as the aspirin there's no milliliters nor milligram so we don't know the configuration to it as well as the amoxicillin uh physician's order states 600 milligrams while the mar states 800 milligrams so those are the three um discrepancy that i found i called the physician not the physician but the pharmacy and confirmed order, which it has been confirmed for patient administration. I didn't draw up a new MAR, as you can see. I draw it up. Then I look for any medication calculation, which I noticed in the amoxicillin, 600 milligrams by mouth every six hours. And then what we have at hand is 400 milligrams per five milliliters, which will total up to 7.5 milliliters. As you can see on my paper, I then asked another colleague of mine, a nurse, to come and verify my calculations. It has been verified. I then, again, look at my um, record. We got Randolph Henry Lee, Date of birth, January 31st, 1987. Aspirin, 325 milligram by mouth at night for once a day. Syrup amoxicillin, 600 milligram by mouth every six hourly. What we have at hand available is 400 milligram per milliliters regular insulin every meal. And then insulin NPH, 10 units of continuously before breakfast and meal. I then grab my medication. As I grab my medication, I check expiration date and label and matching all of it. Okay, let's, I'm not pulling out the aspirin because it's due at nighttime and we in the day shift. I grab the amoxicillin, check expiration date is 400 milligrams. Um, so we got that. We got the RH here. The expiration date is good, as well as the expiration is good on the amoxicillin and the expiration is good on the MPH. So with that being said, I then, I then have verified everything already. I then um, grab my unit syringe and then in my alcohol. I perform another hand hygiene rip open my alcohol pad wipe surface of valve five to ten seconds take my unit syringe withdraw 10 units of air go into my nph inject the air into the nph pull back withdraw three units of air going to my RH, inject the air into my RH, flip upside down, withdraw three units of RH, it's been withdrawn, pull out. Now grab my NPH, insert my syringe, and withdraw 10 units on top of my three units which will add up to 13 units. Pull back, using the one hand scoop technique, I recap the syringe. I ask another colleague of mine, another nurse, to verify my um, medication, which is the insulin mainly, and the amoxicillin. I then compare again I see it's Randolph Lee, Randolph Henry Lee, date of birth January 31st, 1984. 
aspirin 325 milligram by mouth at night for once a day which we will not be administering because it's not night we at day shift um syrup amoxicillin 600 milligram by mouth every six hour um regular insulin before every meal the nurse the nurse before me before clocking out she had checked patients um insulin level and it was at three it was at 185 unit which will be three units which we already have here and then we have the insulin nph 10 unit in here which will total up to 13 subcutaneous before breakfast and dinner so with that being said i now am going to patient's room i gather up my supplies we'll leave this here in the medication room and put back in the refrigerator if it's refrigerated Grab my supplies and my MAR sheet. Knock, knock. Patient allow me to come in. I'll place my item on a clean surface near bedside. Put everything down. Perform hand hygiene. Provide privacy. I grab my MAR form. And ask patient, may I see their, hello, my name is Rosalind. I'll be your nurse today. May I see your ID bracelet? Patient providing me with their ID bracelet while comparing my MAR to their ID bracelet. I ask them to state their full name and date of birth, which is Randy Henry Lee, January 30, 31, 1984. And it matches. Perfect. Do you have any allergies? Patient stated no. Perfect. I am here to administer medication as your doctor prescribed, which will be the amoxicillin and your insulin. Insulin, it will be RH and MPH. Do you have any contradiction to any one of those? And patient stated no. Perfect. The amoxicillin is an antibiotic which will treat your UTI infection. However, the side effects to this will be diarrhea. Do I have your consent to administer this medication? Patient said yes. Um, do you have any question? Patient stated no. I then have the, the, as you can see, I then have the RH, which will be given at before every meal. Um, and the uh, NPH will be given before every before breakfast and dinner. These two insulins, which is mixed together, combined together together to provide to you, um, they will lower your blood sugar as well as they are the adverse effects will be hypoglycemia, which will cause confusion. Do I have your consent to administer this medication? Patient says yes. Do you have any question? Patient says no. And if I was to give the aspirin, um, the if I was to give the aspirin, I will state to the patient, which I'm not going to give by the way, I'll state to the patient the aspirin is an anticoagulant, which is a blood thinner. This will help in preventing any stroke from occurring. The side effects to it will be bloody urine or stool. And I ask the patient, do I have their consent? Normally, patient will say yes. And do they have any question? Patient say no. So with that being said, let's move forward. I then give patient a brochure and let the patient know if they have any further questions or need to know anything about the current medication that has been prescribed today, that, I, that they could look in the brochure. And patient say okay. It's now a good time to perform to administer the medication patient says yes perfect i then put garbage at reach bed to hip level head of bed at a 30 angle degree side of bed down that's nearest to me side rail perform hand hygiene i then ex i then do my third medication check the patient already the patient already um Provided their full name and date of birth. Um, I got the right dose, right drug, right time, right patient, and right route. I already specified all of this, which is all correct. 
and then I perform hand hygiene. Don all clean gloves. And ask patient which medication would they prefer first. And they specify insulin. After, after they specify insulin, I say perfect. Then I assess for their vital signs, which is, which is within the normal limits. And assess for swallowing capability and gag reflex, which both are intact. Since patients stated they prefer insulin, I ask patient, may I lift up your gown? I lift the gown up. First, I pull the sheet back and lift the gown up and assess the abdominal area for any lesion, inflammation, um, prominent, bony prominent, and trauma. And there is none. So the next thing I do is ask the patient which side would they prefer. But when I look at the patient chart, I notice that they assess that they received their insulin on the left side already. So most likely I'll be giving it to the right side. I pinch around the area that I will be going to, which is one inch away from the umbilicus. Pinching the subcutaneous tissue. Take my alcohol pad, wipe in a circular motion from in to going outward, dispose in the garbage. I then remove cap from insulin, pinch one inch away from umbilicus at a 90 angle degree. I insert the, um, I inject the subcutaneous tissue. I let go. And gently squeeze in the insulin. Take my gauze. Withdraw the same angle that I came in. I ask patient to hold this in place using the one hand, the one hand maneuver. If there's a safety recap, I'll do that and place it in a sharp container. Okay, it's been placed in a shark container. I remove the gauze and assess area for any redness and bleeding reaction, which none is noted. I throw away the gauze and apply a bandage. With that being said, I then, let's remove this glove. Since we've been touching that, dispose of that. Perform more hand hygiene. And don on clean glove because we don't want, since we've been touching alcohol and insulin, I don't want to touch the or medication with the same glove. Take the amoxicillin, place this on a flat surface, eye level, and pour the amoxicillin, 7.5 milliliters, and form the patient that this is the amoxicillin that we spoke about earlier. Here you go. I I hand it to patient and stay nearby until patient swallow all the medication confirming and patient have swallow all medication noted dispose of medication cup are you okay patient stated yes I pull down the gown put the sheet back up put sirens up I'll make sure the patient is comfortable, lower the bed, and then I lock bed, put Carla in reach. I remove my gloves, dispose of being the garbage, perform hand hygiene. Let's don on some more gloves. Because we can't leave our mess behind. That would be unfair to the patient. I take all my mess and dispose of it. Now, amoxicillin, if it's multi-use, I'll take that back with me and take my MAR sheet with me. 
Now we'll remove the gloves, dispose of it, perform hand hygiene, and thank the patient for being a great patient. And that'll complete my video.